so this part sucks ass. There's a, a bunch of dogs that are sleeping, of course. And then there's the robot guy that really can't be disabled right away, so you're better off avoiding it all. There's the dog. I think I could go this way, because the dog sleeps over there. I'll just wait a hot minute, because that dog should be sleeping about now, but just in case he isn't, better safe than sorry. There he is. And I believe it. It's okay. Sorry, dog. I did you a favor, trust me. So now we're pretty much scot free in here. <clears throat> yeah, so school's been occupying my time lately, and uh, in case anyone cares what I'm going to school for, it's uh, welding, which I thoroughly love. <clears throat> no sarcasm, I really love it. Um, so I know there's a lot of you guys probably in the same boat as I am, or was, um, not knowing what you want to do. Uh, kind of being directionless. Um, I don't know why he was sleeping, but he always is, so take your opportunity. Oh yeah, you have to turn the power back on to power the elevator. That's like, just if you're like, for some reason, a pacifist and say, Oh, I don't want to hurt him. You're basically just, you know, walking into a trap the second you flip that switch. Anyways, um, school. Yeah, I'm getting my associate's degree in welding and uh if you don't know welding pays very well um, it's a very very good field to get into anything uh, anything that involves like labor like that it's just job security is there because you'll always need welders um, I sound like a commercial but uh I just know that there's a lot of people out there who don't know what they want to be for a living and you know, you might, you still might not know. You're probably sitting there like, why is this guy repeating himself? Because I'm playing a game and talking. I haven't done that in a while. It's kind of hard. It's actually very hard. I've never tried it. I suck at it. All right, fuck, I'm just going to take you out. I'll take a few bullets to the back. That means this guy's out. He's cake. Okay. Yeah, we're back. So, uh, yeah, what was it saying? I'm trying to figure out the button to make. There we go. Oh, okay. Nothing over here. See, I never grew up thinking, oh, I want to be a welder. You know? I never thought that. But I tried it. I job shadowed people who were welders, and I fucking loved it. Like, the one thing I didn't want was an office job. I originally went to school being a mechanical engineer, and I just, uh, one, I dislike math. It just, I, I don't have, I'm not good at school. Um, I just don't have the attention span for it, I guess. I get bored, I get frustrated, I, uh... Just don't like the environment. And, uh... So, yeah, I, uh... Sucked at school, sucked at college, I wasn't doing good in my classes with engineering. Um... I'm like, okay, this isn't going to work. I need to do something else. And, uh, so I thought, what if I work with my hands? And, uh, welding, I looked into. My dad works with a bunch of welders. So he let me job shadow, and, uh, turns out it was awesome. I loved it. I just love the, the fabrication of... You're melting metal together. It's just cool. And, um... Like I said, there's a lot of money in it, there's a lot of success in it. It's uh, good, honest labor. And, uh, yeah, so here I am. Um, one more year of school left. I look forward to going to school every day. It's so much fun. It's, uh, it's great, honestly. It's the best choice I ever made academically. <clears throat> it's fucking dogs, dude. I don't think they sleep. These dogs stay awake, I think, and they will fuck you up. I don't remember which way to go, either. That's a lot of blood. This place is not sanitary. So before you think, uh, this is not the guy that we went in with. He's just some random guy. Rip. You can read that if you want. Um, 
This is how we get out of here. I'm sure there's collectibles and stuff, but I really don't care about that. There's literally no reward for collecting those gold ingots, so fuck it. I think they would have been better off if they had like a currency system, like a black market or something. You find the gold ingot, you get to buy something special. Anyways, back on topic. Uh, you don't have to be welder, you don't have to be... You no, know, you can try electrician, you can try plumbing, there's money in that, hell. People think that working with your hands isn't... Uh, I don't know. It's just weird. It's I'm just saying what it seems like. I don't know if that's the way it is. I picked up the gold anyway. Fuck it. Um, yeah, it just seems like there's this like <clears throat> pre-wired idea or viewpoint on manual labor. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a an engineer or something. I instantly, maybe you think less of yourself if you went down that route. But honestly, it's there. There is a, there is enough money. I mean, there's a, I don't know what you're going for in life. Like, there's a lot of money though in those fields that I just listed, like uh, welding, uh, electrician, all that stuff. Um, again, I'm playing a game while talking, so it's difficult to uh, convey my ideas. But yeah, just uh, consider your choices. You have more choices than you think. And like I said, I'm just doing the associate's degree. And um, associate's in welding, because usually that's like a technical skill. Like, you know, you get your like... Uh, I don't know what you even call those. Specialized diploma, maybe? I don't know. Um, an associate's degree in welding is dangerous. In a good way. It's it's really good to have an associate's degree in college. Um, so at least you should get that. Even if it's just in like general education, you should totally get that. And uh, if I ever want to go back to school, I'll start off with my associates. I won't be like starting from square one. Um, I don't know where I'm going with this. I guess I'm just saying that it's not necessarily what you want to be. It's where you want to be. I know I don't want to be in school for the rest of my life, figuring out what I want to do. And, uh, I know it's like near impossible to, to real like, like recognize what it is you enjoy doing because, you know, you're in high school, you're in a place where you need to ask to go to the bathroom. And suddenly, a year later, you're expected to know what you want to do for a living. You know, it's just a weird kind of instant boom. Here you go. What do you want to be? Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? But like I said, it's not what you, what, what you want to be. It's kind of where you want to be. What do you? Where do you want to be in life? What do you want to have? Um. And like I said, uh, doesn't hurt to job shadow. Honestly, you could uh, call companies, just random companies, and say, hey, I'm a student. I'm kind of interested in whatever that company does. And just ask if you job shadow for a day or a few hours. I thought it, I thought I wanted to do physical therapy for a, for a little bit there. Job shadowed. Uh, didn't like it. Just not my environment. Because uh, that was after engineering. Because I just, I don't know, I just didn't want to do... Engineering, I didn't want to do the math. This part sucks, by the way. I hate this part. I'm not going to do these uh, sleeping ones with the Nazis. The old school game. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. If you do, that's great. If not, basically, there's an old Wolfenstein game back in the day. If you sleep on a bed, um, you go into that special world where you can play the old game for a little bit until you die. And I'm not sure if dying in there means that you have to restart the game. So not gonna do it that is a nasty shit dude holy crap anyways this part sucks oh this isn't the part yet okay we're good we're good this part's kind of creepy though okay. 
Tell me about the secret. What does Helga know? Oh, my children. Bist du von der Front zurück? Ich hätte nie gedacht, dass ich dich wiedersehe. Oh, mein kleiner süßer Junge. Sorry, old man. You mistake me for someone else. Ich dachte, eine Sekunde lang. I love BJ's uh, narrative in these games. Kind of poetic. This reminds me of uh, Outlast, one of my favorite horror games ever made. Um, yeah, here it is, right here. Anytime you see that symbol, you can go into the uh, old school game, play for a little bit. I don't want to mess up uh, my game, though, if I die. Don't do it, dude. It's not worth it. That is a, that is a fucking drop. This part sucks dick so bad. I don't want to do this. So basically, there's a there's a huge ass dog that comes out. Chin up, English man. And uh, he's just a bitch. I don't think he'll kill you. I mean, he can if you're stupid, but. Uh, what am I pressing? What am I pressing? I always fuck up on this. There goes a lot on my armor. Include his helmets. Thankfully, this guy didn't yell either. I guess you can't knock his helmet off. I know you can if you shoot it. Anyways, this part sucks. Did I say that yet? Oh, I really don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. The second you jump down, the dog's going to come out, and I forget how to get back up. There it is. Oh, God damn this. I think he goes through this door. That's right. If I die here, I'll be so upset. Oh, I hate this noise. Okay. Hurry up, BJ. Fucking hate this. All right, so you're safe here, by the way. Um, but once you go there, the dog will jump at you and he will fuck your shit up. So basically, he stopped right there. He always knows where you are. There's no hiding from him. But if you go over here, he will jump up. I'm trying to get him to do it, so you can see how fucked up it is. There he is. He does that, and he will hurt you. I think you're safe here. Um, we need to get to that hallway right there. So I'll probably get hit again. 29 health. I almost died. Holy shit. Dude, if I would have died there, I'd have been so angry. That was like the most difficult part. I mean, obviously, there are some fight parts coming up that I could easily die in just, you know, by a random grenade or I get stuck or, you know, something. 